Hello, Realm Walkers. I'm Sarah Desorbus, and I hope you're having a great day today. And if not, come and escape with me for a bit. Today we're going to build a little shack over here by the water. You see, I was out here leisurely fishing one day when I suddenly got hit by a little rain. And then a lot of rain. And when I got hit in the head by a hailstone, I realized there really needs to be a cozy fishing shack right on this spot. But instead of just making one willy-nilly, I figured you and I could do this together. can kind of show you the ins and outs of how to build in Nightingale. First thing we need to do is open up the building menu. From here, we select the foundation we're going to use. I personally prefer stone floors and wood walls, but you should feel free to use whatever you want. Let's lay out a 2 by one like so. Now you could make this as large or as small as you want, such as a 2x2 two two or 2x3. Two I'd say a 2x3 is the absolute minimum size, like if you want to put all your crafting stations in one place. But if you're just getting into Nightingale, then stick with a small building for now, just so you've got a roof over your head. You're going to get a chance to make grand estates later on, so don't worry about it for right now. And also, don't worry about the materials. We really don't need that right now. In fact, it's just going to make things harder for us if we start putting down materials. So save it for the end. Open up the building menu again to select another building piece. Like a doorway. Which we put here. And then let's put a window right next to it. We can put a couple of plain walls on the sides. And we can just leave the side facing the water completely open if we want. Let's also place down some ceiling tiles, but instead of just doing 2x1, we're going to extend it out and go 2x2. Two two. This way we can step out a little bit and still be sheltered from the weather. And you know what? Let's be a little experimental. Let's add a wooden foundation here and here. And maybe extend it out here too so we can have a little pier to fish from if we want. Alright, that looks good. Let's take a look around. I feel like it's a really good practice to do this evaluation so we don't waste time and resources on a bad design. You know, I don't know about that extension there. And here's what I was talking about not putting in materials until the end. Because we can look at our blueprint and our layout to see if it's actually what we want. So let's get rid of this pier. And we do that by holding down interact. And then hit deconstruct to get rid of it. And you know what, looking at this, it's missing something. I think it needs rails here, and here, and maybe a couple of pillars too. And if you don't have these parts, don't worry about it. You'll get them eventually. Alright, now let's put down a bedroll, an angling basket for storage, a campfire, and maybe a wall sconce for light? Oh right, and let's not forget the door. All we've got to do now is farm up the resources if we haven't already. Let's actually fast forward through that process. I mean, gathering materials is pretty standard across the board. Hit trees, get wood, hit rocks, get stone, so on and so forth. Okay, we're far from gathering all the materials, but we're overburdened now, so we need to go back. And all we've got to do to actually build our blueprint is to walk up to it with materials and inventory, and hit the interact button. Like so. 
Now again, we didn't get everything, so we have to go back and do a bit more farming. Let's pop the rest in and voila! Our shack is done! Now let's step inside and finish up the interior. Let's make this bedroll, and this angling basket, and this campfire. We can do this sconce later. You're probably looking at this stuff and thinking, this looks way out of place, like who would sleep next to the door? And I agree with you, but this is all actually super easy to fix. Now keep in mind that there's two modes for building. There's a building menu to design the blueprint and a build mode that allows you to shift stuff around. A bit confusing, I know. So hit your build mode button, and what should show up at the bottom are these commands. Copy, move, and remove. We're going to use move to shift our furniture around a bit. Let's move the angling basket over here. Just like this. Let's also grab our sleeping bag and move it right over here. Let's also adjust the campfire and move it closer to the center so we can stay warm no matter where we're standing. Easy peasy. Let's take another quick walkthrough. Now, this isn't the most attractive shack in the world, but it works. We can sleep, we've got a place for our stuff, we can eat, and most importantly, we can fish to our heart's content. If you found this video helpful, leave a like. And if you used it to help build your own shack, share your build with us in the comments below. Peace.